What's up everybody? My name is Dave Torrey and this week I am at a totally new spot. I've got a bunch of old foundations here. Look like they got some serious age to them. There's one, there's another one right down there. And there's a really nice one right over here. Yeah. That's the old stuff. Nice. Uh, and I'm out here today trying to figure out how old these things are. I got my Equinox 600, as always. One of my favorite machines. And it's really good to be back. I've been working on my house a lot that I bought a few weeks ago. Just relentlessly working on this thing. And I will show you guys a, uh, a bit of progress on that at the end of the video. So let's see what we can find. Hmm. It's a little bit jumpy, but it does sound like the right size and depth. Maybe quarter. Hopefully it is not... Ooh. I was just about to say, hopefully it's not a big piece of lead, but I don't believe it is. Ooh, oh, oh, beauty. Wow. <laughs> that looks like a big uh, general service button. Two piece with the shank still on it. Oh, man. That's beautiful. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit to um, check the back mark on it. Might be more modern than I'd like, but oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> nice. Still pretty early on in this hunt, so I haven't been able to date this place so well yet, but uh, looks like there's some interesting stuff going on over here. A little bit of old blue glass, definitely a fire. I guess it could have been the house or just a fire in the backyard. Some old pottery. Looks like there's quite a bit here. I wonder if somebody's been here metal detecting before, throwing these little pieces around. That looks like... Um, uh, part of a strike plate would have gone on a door. Doesn't look too old. It's some kind of a pulley system. Maybe it's part of a clothesline or something like that. But lots of metal in the ground here. I do know that. Let's keep looking. A little bit skeptical about this one, but... Kind of the same situation as the button that I just found. Sort of jumpy. Pretty tight on the pinpoint. Pretty good depth. Hoping for like a silver dime that's on its side or something like that. Still down there. Maybe another button. <laughs> Buckle. Nice. That's an old D. Cool. That's probably late 18s or something like that. Another piece to the puzzle. Uh, this one may be a bazinga, but you can definitely see why it was hitting so nicely. It's a chunk of lead. It's in this nice square pattern with some rounded corners, maybe part of an old ingot. <sighs> Sounded like a coin. All right, I got a nice uh, 25 to 28 target here. I haven't seen it, but it sounds pretty nice on the pinpoint, so...
it is down there. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Can you guys tell what it is yet? I've been finding a lot of these lately. That nice old pocket knife. Yeah. It's got that shield right on it. I believe that is a shield brand. That's cool. These things uh, date back quite a while, too. It could be, you know, turn of the century or, you know, early to mid-1900s. That's a fun find. Still see all the different blades in there, too. Nice. Here's some more good signs of early 1900s. It's a soap tray, I'd imagine. Little holes for the soap and the water to drain out of it. Some standard early 1900s crap that you find on the ground. I want older. Well, this is a really sweet sound. It's pretty tight. Those are like half dollar numbers, you know, quarter or half dollar numbers. I don't see nothing. It's still down there. Okay. What do we got? Hey, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's another one of those buttons. Oh, man. These things are so friggin' nice. Must have just been a, a whole military um, service coat that fell apart in the ground over the years here or something. Look at that. That's beautiful. I can't wait to look these up and figure out exactly what they are, how old they are. They're nice. You may notice in this video, all over the ground are these big snake looking things. These big twisty sort of seed pod sort of things. I learned recently that these are from a catalpa tree. These are big old seed pod husks. And they do look a lot like snakes in the ground all over the place. These must be catalpas. Cool. Well, this wasn't too hard to find. There's the old well. I'll send you guys down there. Whoa. It's deep. Can tell that they had a nice old well here that they used for a good long time and then eventually they upgraded to the uh hand pump so that says like late 18s to early 1900s to me not seeing evidence of any like modern plumbing or electrical or anything so old stuff well i've been here for like 45 minutes now or something like that and i'm still looking for my first coin out of this place. Finding a lot of other stuff though. And that sounds like a big old coin. What does it say? Lozer Manufacturing Company, Montlair, New Jersey. Domino. Cool. Still doesn't tell me anything about how old this place is. As far as I know. Maybe it has some clues in it. Weird, this must be a, a lid to something, because it's got all this stuff in it. Some sort of caked up old junk inside of there. There we go. Yep, yeah, it's some sort of lid. There's a little point where there would have been a, a pin in there for a hinge. 
I don't know, maybe maybe like a makeup thing or something. It's kind of got that look to it with that little um, mask on it, you know. We'll keep it, research it. Maybe it'll have some answers for me. I can't believe this. I'm like 20 feet away from where I found the first button. And probably like, you know, 40 feet away from where I found the second button. And look at that. Every time that I get a really good target in the ground, it's another one of these awesome military coat buttons. That's three. <laughs> I mean, how many are on a coat? Eight or something. That's crazy. Huh? Maybe I'll find the rest of the coat. Give me some damn cufflinks. Mm. Man, everywhere I go around here, there's just more foundations. Look at this gigantic cut of granite. More of it. Running into that. So I'm assuming I'm standing at the kind of inside of some old foundation. It doesn't look like it continues. Huh. Must have been a pretty big estate at one point. Still no coins, but interesting stuff coming up. Nice old um, brass or copper piece of horse tack. It was ringing up like a perfect 21. Ah, so close. Well, I was just digging a perfect 16 sound, which is usually either junk or gold. And that pops out. And it's really thin, and it's got that silvery patina. It's got some kind of a weird marking right there. A little stamped. Looks almost like a number. Yeah, it looks like that could be some really old silver. Got to clean it up and check it out. Maybe part of an old pen or something like that. I don't know. Interesting. That's definitely what old tarnished silver looks like though, so that's where my attraction to it is. Maybe silver. Nice. Well, I always like finding these. There's only like an inch or two down. Hitting like a 19 or a 20. That is a nice full harmonica reed. Nice. That's some nice 19th or 20th century entertainment right there. Good stuff. Part of the fun of metal detecting is being out in the woods and getting to observe interesting sort of phenomena. Here's an interesting one. The big old dead tree right in the middle. And out of all sides of it have sprung up these other limbs almost looks like it's the same tree that just died all the way down and somehow kind of repopulated itself see part of the old limbs right here <laughs> it's still growing out of this trunk nature's fun this sounds like this ought to be a pretty fun target Pretty tight, pretty consistent. Come on, coin. <clears throat> uh, it's out, it's small. Hopefully it's not that. Ah, what is that going to be? Come on, coin. A flat button. And not just any flat button. It's a nice old military flat button. Uh, maybe it's two-piece. What is up? 
They're all in such nice condition too. Smashed in on the back. Definitely an old two-piece. Smaller than all the rest. Interesting. Look like great seal buttons to me. Wow, that's cool though. <laughs> Every time that I think I got a coin too. It's another one of these. I can't really complain though. All right, this one was uh, ringing up like an 11, 12, kind of hitting 13, really, really solid tone. I think I got a ring. Looks like it's just going to be copper or something. Yeah. It looks like a uh, an old, maybe copper wedding band or something. Real thin. Let's see if it was uh, plated at one point. Yeah, I'm not seeing any insignias or anything. I'll have to clean it up, but yeah, that's exactly what that looks like. I guess um, back in the way old days, uh, like poor families, you know, uh, used to use like copper wedding bands and stuff. So that could be what that is. Very cool. Well, holy crap. I think we might actually have coin here. It's like a 18 to 20. I'm betting on a wheat. <laughs> I'm betting right. Wheat penny. Yep. Well, that says something. I was thinking that a lot of these military buttons did look, you know, World War One, World War Two era. So maybe some of this currency will help me date the place a little better. Maybe there'll be some silver too. I do believe that the floodgates have opened for coins. Got something else here. Probably another weedy. Oh, no, we got a Indian head penny. Nice. That's what I was really hoping to find here. Nice IHP. 1903 HP. Looks to be an 1893 IHP. Sweet. Nice, that puts this place uh, right back where I thought it was. Late 1800s. Oh, I'm happy about that. That's in great condition, too. Very nice. You can see which side was down for sure. Well, I've been fighting through a lot of iron over by the foundations, but some things are coming up. Looks to be some sort of a old, like, a furniture button. Something... I don't see any design work on there yet. You can see where it crimped onto some sort of cloth or something. Hmm. Cool. Kinda. Wish it was a coin. Well, we are back at home for a wrap up on a pretty good day of metal detecting. Um, looks like this homestead that I was at was probably late 1800s to early 1900s, um, judging by some of the artifacts and things that I found here. This is a lid to a uh, an old can of Domino sugar, early 1900s. Uh, my little copper ring that I found seemed to have broken in my pocket, but it let me know that it was not gold. Which is pretty evident. Um, you can see a little bit of copper in there. Probably an old wedding band. Uh, nice harmonica reed. Always fun to find. This one's in really good condition. Sometimes they're just busted to pieces. This thing that I thought was silver is actually um, part of the wick holder for a kerosene lamp. Um, it looks like it is plated with silver or something like that, but I did see a chip come off that silver, and you could see where those little gears would have turned to raise and lower the wick on this kerosene lamp. It looks like it's stamped, I think, with a number eight. Pretty typical um, late 1800s homestead find. Um, nice old shield pocket knife. Still coming apart. <laughs> I think that usually these are um, bone scales on here. 
Always cool to find. A little debuckle. A couple of little pieces of horse tack there, so that's definitely the, the late 1800s kind of nature of the place. Uh, moving on, we have got a epic selection of old military buttons. And it looks like all of these are World War I Great Seal buttons. So probably, you know, this place would have been uh, inhabited in, you know, up to at least like 1918 or something like that. Really nice condition. Of course, all of these guys up front. Same great seal buttons, Waterbury, Connecticut. Very nice. And one more of those. I'm assuming these were all off of the same coat. Maybe, you know, uh, when the house collapsed, um, this this coat kind of disintegrated in the yard and these things were scattered around and stepped on for a good long time. And moving on, we only got two coins today. Usually I'd be disappointed, but those buttons are certainly making me happy. Weedy. And an 1893 Indian Head Penny. That makes me happy. Nice old coin. Well, if you guys like what you saw, like, subscribe, go out and dig cool stuff up. morning. Woo. This is the first for me. View from the roof, the new house. Got to seal up where we had the old soil stack. And as you can see, our water level on the lagoon has come up. Sweet. Almost time for some fishing. New header. All right, at the end of yet another great day, starting to get some half walls built. Gotta build a corner post up there, unfortunately, to support that ceiling and the same over there. Gonna have a nice little bar top across that and a bar top across that into the living room. Uh, got all the floor ripped out. Back down to this dug fur. It's cool. Started up the uh, bathroom wall. Got that partially framed in. Good stuff. All this is ripped up because we have to be copacetic with the life proof guidelines. Make sure that our life proof flooring goes down flat. And they have very stringent guidelines telling us that we need to be within 
uh, 3 16 of an inch over 10 feet. That's you trying not to get sued. That's what you're doing, Life Proof. So, you know, getting the place ready for floors, walls, and all sorts of fun stuff. Hopefully we'll be wiring soon, and I'm going to be flipping on some damn lights because it is dark in here. Check in with you guys later.